Time of day to you. Welcome to Air Cold Motor Works. And today on the rack, we have one of my particular favorite things to do in this shop, and that's a revival. If you don't know what that is, that's when we take these cars that have been sitting for a while, per the customer, this one, uh, five to seven years, and get them running. A couple of things that we know about the car so far is it does sort of run like a pissed off Briggs and Stratton, as the owner put it. So, it's a start. A couple things he has done to this car already, to the point where he felt calling us for our services was necessary. We know he's put a fuel pump on, tried to put some wires on, screwed, messed around, played around with the, uh, the points, got it to make noise. We know it does make noise. So with that being said, we're gonna do our typical things when we get one of these cars in and Hedge our bets on runability, runability and startability. Pretty sure those are the words. Technical if not. So what we know the owner has done so far is he's put a fuel pump on it, uh, messed with the points, he said, and the distributor. To what extent, I don't know. We smelt the gas in it. She's a little lacquered over, so chances are it is flammable. I did test it, so it does go foof. Um, but other than that, the octane rating, eh, it'll run. Good thing is Volkswagen's have a very low compression engine, so they run on pretty much anything. So what we're going to do with this video is hedge our bets on it starting up like we know what we're doing and putting a new carburetor on it and an electronic distributor or ignition module, getting rid of the points. Turn the key and hopefully she starts up. After that, we'll address after that, in another video, we'll address, you know, general tune-up. Plugs, wires, uh, valves, flush the fuel system, because like I said, she is lacquered over. But stay tuned, this one hopefully should be a good one. All right, so what we got going on right now is we're going to redo, uh, put a new carburetor on there. And we're going to upgrade this from points to an electronic ignition. Um, first things first, you know. Let's get this carb off. Oh, I thought there was a tire there. There's not. Yeah, it's just a shell. Anywho, air filter. That can go away. Tech tip. Pull the distributor cap. Just makes your life a little easier. Rotary you can pop off. Gives your, gives your big phalange some room to uh, work around. 213s, front, front side and the back side, and and the back and the back side, maybe. Give them a loosen. Loose, loose. So pretty much hand tight. You go in the old pocket hole. Uh, Got a neat mill on this thing. I like blasting her off with the gun. So you're not really stressing it too much. Put your throttle cable out. Uh, make sure you put that uh, throttle holder somewhere where you're going to lose it. Stick your nuts out. Undo those bad boys. One, hit them with the washers. Uh, they're just pain in the butt to get on there. I'm surprised there's actually one on there. Um, we use the uh, flanged nuts here. We'll upgrade if the kit doesn't come with one or the new carb doesn't come with one. Makes life a little easier. This back one where it helps to, uh, you know, do the old Rhodesian and work her with the two hands. Give her a nice, oh, we'll find that in a minute. Fuel line, you want to disconnect it. Pop that off. Ooh, a little 
it. Joke, idle air. Let go. Make sure you get your gasket off. And hell, that was brand new looking. She still smells like she'll work. So, one carburetor off. New unit. Get the old workbench up in here. New Chinesium carburetor. So, you know, some assembly required. What, what do we got? Gasket. Boop. Comes with new studs. Studs. Short short end, you know, the the, the nubby. The nubby end. Screw that into the carb. You don't want to go the other way around, like I almost did. Put that in, let me grab two nuts. I'll show you what I was talking about with the flange. And you'll see why it makes life life easier. Run uh, serrated flange nuts. Helps with the grip. Two of them. Cough. <coughs> Anywho. Gently slide said new carburetor on there. Install nuts. Install nut one. Rhodesian to back one again. Two handed operation. Close your eyes if you want. Better, closer, warmer, on. Gently run your wires. Weep boop. Don't forget to attach your digicals. This wire is terrible. We'll probably go back and fix it. That's for your choke. You can tell she's a little short. Also not the best of uh, electrician work done, but you know, for testing purposes, it'll be fine. Some carbon. Where's my wrench? There it is. Snug it down. Cable, which your stop, shove that into the old hole. Wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Sometimes they just don't want to align right. That's the case, just grab some pliers. Stop it. Give the bracket a little tweak. And I'll fall back in. Well. Let's go where it needs to go. Tighten said throttle cable. Ketunk. Toit. Like freaking NASCAR over here. Let's get in there. Got those pliers. Fuel line connector holder offer on her cover nipple thing. Pop it off. Fuel line on. Ooh, you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but fuel isn't supposed to be that color. But you know what? She ain't the worst. Like I said, she smells flammable. I'd be more concerned if this doesn't look like it is a brand new fuel filter on here to try to run it through the system. 
um, clean out is a new unit. We're gonna we're gonna leave her in place for breathing purposes. We'll take that off. <coughs> so curb installed, quick, easy. We'll do a pre-adjustment on that. Just for fire up purposes, run the screw all the way in. Little screw, it's the one on the bottom. So it's seated, you don't want to crank it down, there's a tip. And what I do is uh, one, a two, two and a half out for right now. All right, now distributor, points removal, eliminator, what have you. Disco the old points and condenser unit. Click. Points kit, points eliminator kit. What I like to do is not a lot of people do it, but I do. Oop. Bracket back there that holds the uh, points on. You can jiggle wheel around it. And green wire off of the condenser. Boop. We'll leave the condenser in here, um, and we usually throw the points in with because just in case the uh, just in case the electronic goes out, um, it is a backup. You show you show your points in, all the systems there, and you're still good to go. With that, makes converting a lot easier. All right, and then we'll need a hot, so we use specialty stuff. Kit cars are terrible because they like to run a lot of things off the hot. Hot, um, off the hot connector. We use these little doubler ups. Figure we'll go find one off. Reconnect whatever the hell it, this was. Feels loose. Let's give her a little, give her a little bite. Click that on. Click that on. They have the power and ground, if you will, to do what it needs to do. All right, points eliminator. Points kit. Electronic. These are simple and straightforward to put in. your electronic run your wires through the back side red goes the hot black goes the green or where the condenser was so negative there's locator pins dowel thing under here What that's for is to uh, you know locate it. Click right there. We'll take the possibly it's 
Splite Allen Wrench and Allen. Shove it in the hole. This is the uh, roller wheel, I guess you want to call it. Put that on. That's on next. A light. Gently undo what you just did. Finish running your wires. Again, it goes to the back side. Beep boop. There you go. Make sure that's in. Make sure it's not touching anything. Now you take your doobly doo. Put your do put your doobly doo on. Make sure she's down. Rotor button. Boop. That goes on. These two wires. Red goes to red. Black goes to black. So ready to go to your hot key on 12 volt, which I should uh, be that. And the black, that looks like complete arse. Do, do, do. Wiggle, 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 wiggle and jiggle. Oh, hell. See, when you use good connections, you kind of screw yourself. Blink. All right. For cosmetic purposes, put the DZ cap on. Should be where everything needs to go. Like I said, don't worry about that. This wire, that's for the original uh, condenser that was on here. We'll get rid of it. But red, 12 volt hot. And the Black is going to go to the signal or the ground. What was the ground? This is just so condensed in here. Ah, a guy does not like it. What's this one do? Is that tax signal? Was tax signal? You can live there. And then, and then, and then black, and 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 then black. We'll go on to coil negative post. So where the like, come on, what are you doing? All right, and that goes on the negative post of the coil. So let's see, connected, connected, connected. Eek. Click on these wires are on. The wires look okay for a bench fire. I mean, we're gonna clean all this stuff up, zip ties and what have you. But uh, lengthen some wires. Let's see if uh, we do have extra part. We'll be fine. Give her some cranks. Let's see if this thing, uh, see if this thing twists off. Can a guy reach a key? I can. Chance to.
We got any square direction? Ooh, I can smell crap. E fuel. Some fuel. Put it on the high choke. See if she lights off now. start actually first time I heard it run um, like I said right now it is running on five-year-old fuel uh, so for it doing what it just did I'm super impressed with um, like I said as of right now same oil it's been in it delivered we did check it it does have some in it it's, it, it's viscous um, but really all we did new carburetor didn't even tune on her yet that's how it is um, saw it, slap a new carb on, electronic distributor, little cranky cranky, pull that fuel up, that, you know, lovely varnish, get into that bowl, um, lit off. These things are great. I love these cars. Um, we're going to go through also, and now hearing the engine, knowing it actually runs, knowing it actually fires, what we're going to do is, um, Pop open the valve covers, adjust the valves. I don't know if you can pick it up in the video or in uh, the audio, but they are pretty damn clanky. Um, V-dubs do have a s little bit of a tick to them um, if they're adjusted, but you're not really supposed to hear them. And what I'm hearing is the valves, um, not an exhaust leak. They kind of sound the same, but mm, not really. Uh, so, Pop open those covers, we'll adjust the valves. We, we set them to six on both. Uh, I think specs like six and eight, eight on the exhaust, six on the intake. We just go six across the board, haven't had an issue with it. Uh, general stuff now. We can throw plugs in it. Um, throw the plugs in it. Wires look like someone did it. Someone tried to put a fuel pump on it. It looks like someone did. I mean, you gotta go all over the place. Looks like someone tried to get this thing going. I mean, there are some new bits under here. Um, those are nice. So, with that said, we'll replace a few lines there, third dry rod, and get this filter out. There, there's a bunch of stuff what we're gonna do with this thing, but you know, this just shows these cars run. Pretty damn easy, simple. 30 minutes, this thing's running. Would I drive it to California? Mm, no. But, with that said, uh, would I drive it? Would I take it on a test drive right now? Eh, still probably not. Um, don't know about the brakes. I know there's a shifter issue inside. I'll get to that in a, uh, later on. Maybe another video of how to fix that. Um, but right now, she runs. Uh, we'll have another video of doing valves, doing an oil. General tune-up. Plugs, valves, oil change. We're not the reason we're not doing it now. We just The whole premise of this video was just to hear this thing runs. It runs. It runs on old gas. Also flush the gas, put new gas in because, you know, reasons. Varnish isn't really good. So, stay tuned. Another video will be coming out on how to do just a general tune-up, but sitting for five years. Fires up. Hope you guys like it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. But, thanks again for watching.